this is actually a video tutorial for those who have PayPal accounts and it was temporarily limited. So I hope you can it can help you out in your issues and can restore your account soon. So I will discuss more information about the um, the documents or the information that I have sent to PayPal in order to resolve my, my um, issues in my account. So anyway, this is the uh, email that I have received from PayPal last May 11. So they have mentioned in here that they need some information regarding my PayPal account and uh, because they have noticed that the, there are changes in the account activity because the last time that I have uh, used my account was 2019, December. And from from that time, I never have, I don't have any transactions. So the, I just used my PayPal account once again last May. But um, unfortunately, after a long period of time, this account was inactive. PayPal temporarily limited my account. So there are certain features in PayPal that I am not able to do so so i cannot send payments and i cannot also withdraw funds but it can be resolved if we can submit uh the necessary information that they require so i'm going to discuss it in the next slide so this um the one that you have seen right now in your screen i have already signed in into my uh, paypal account so once you log in, you can see this prompt automatically. So there are two notifications that you can see. First is the temporarily limited access and also the account. So first off, we will go into to discuss this one, the temporarily limited. The next issue, which is the on hold balance, I will discuss it with another my another video. I'll discuss more information about the um, the account access is temporarily limited. So what are the information that I have submitted to PayPal? So once you click this, your account access is temporarily limited. Uh, once you click this provide information, then you can see this, this page. Your account access is temporarily limited. So as they have mentioned in here, we notice some significant changes to your account activity. To understand this better, we will provide some information from you. I mean, we require some information from you. So they have also mentioned in here that if you are unable to submit the required information by June 25, or if you notice additional changes in your account activity, your access will be further limited. So all we have to do is to uh, just provide this information Upload a photo ID, provide information and account activity, provide proof of fulfillment, provide purchase receipt from your supplier. So there are also some uh, certain features in PayPal that we cannot do. Once the temporary limited in your account, so this is the impact. We cannot withdraw money from PayPal. We cannot send money or payments. We cannot pay using PayPal, but we can receive money or payments and we can refund money to customers. So we just need to provide this information and um, I will discuss one by one all the information that I have submitted or the documents that I have submitted to PayPal. Uh, that's why they have uh, restored my account. So I will discuss it one by one. So let's go first with the first information that they required, which is upload a photo ID. So what I just did is I just took a picture of my valid ID and then I just uploaded it. So right after you um, click this resolve, so it will go to another page, which you need to upload the photo of your ID. Then after that, it's just very simple. You just need to upload after that. Um, once you finish, then the status will be completed. So it will be like this. Okay? It's just very simple. So the second information that you need to provide to PayPal is that you need to provide information and account activity. So all you have to do once again is to click the resolve button and then it will lead, lead you to this 
um, page. So there is a transaction ID, there is the total amount, and also the status. So for my uh, transaction, um, it's already been the status has been completed because I have waited for 21, di 21 days already. And you can see a transaction ID of which uh, transaction has been on hold and which uh, transaction that you need to provide more information with. So in here, uh, they have mentioned that I need to provide a full description of what the payment was for. So what I have indicated is this one. So I provide digital services to the client, thus it's an intangible item and a non-shipment transaction. The goods and services delivered and used to the client is in electronic form because first of all, the transaction has been made online only. It, it was not shipped or it was not also, there was no any um, product itself. It was only a digital services that I provide to the client. So that's why I just put it or indicated it, it in here as digital services. So yeah, that's it. So the third information that you need to provide is to provide a proof of fulfillment. So once again, you just have to click the resolve button and then it will lead you to the next page. So this will be the next page. So um, as mentioned in here, to resolve this limitation, you'll need to provide the shipping information for transaction ID. This one, the transaction ID. Uh, it mentioned the payment was from the date of transaction and the transaction amount. So basically, since uh, the in the the uh, transaction has been made by a digital format, so I have to click this one. Any other proof of fulfillment. So if it's going to be a physical goods and you have sent the item or shipped the item. So this will be the one that you need to provide. I mean, you just have to tick. Or if it's sent by a family or friends, then it will be this one. But since mine, it's a digital goods that was delivered by the, or has been sent to the client. So this one. So the next page, it will lead me to this one. You can add a note and upload a file as a proof of fulfillment for this order. The proof can include contracts, professional licenses, delivery and confirmation or any document showing the buyer's confirmation. So I just put a note in here. I describe how they, it was fulfilled. So um, I just describe how it was fulfilled. Like the client sent confirmation on the payment. Hence the transaction was completed as well as the payment. So I just also drag the file which is the uh, details of the transaction. So I will also gonna show you what kind of transaction receipt or or what kind of uh, delivery confirmation it was, you know, it, it showed that it was completed and it was, um, it's already been done. So the document that I attach in the information, which is, PayPal requested to provide proof of fulfillment is that I just um, go over with the transaction. So since you know which transaction has been on hold and which transaction that you need to provide information or if they requested for more information, you just have to click this one. So example mine is this transaction which is 20.44 US dollars. So as you can see in here, the status is completed. So as mentioned, there was no shipping tracking and the status has been completed. So what I'm going to do is that since there's already purchase details in here, and there was an item and also you know, all the pension details has been already in here and status. So I will just get the details so and it will go over in this page. You just have to uh, save it as PDF and you just have to or save it as JPEG or whatever you like as long as you can upload it in the um, 
and a page of paper. So mine, I have uh, saved it as PDF. So as you can see, I also indicated it here an arrow, an arrow line, wherein it's, it really stated that this, this transaction has been completed. So just like that, and then I just save it as PDF. So right after I save it as PDF, so there is already in here the document. So the only the files that you can upload is that you can upload a GP, JPG or JPEG, a GIF, PNG or a PDF. So uh, mine is that I save it as PDF. So right after that, it will once you submitted it then it will be like this so we've already done with a photo id we've done with account activity and also we're finished with uh, proof of fulfillment so it will be like this so the fourth information that you need to provide to paypal is that uh, you need to provide a purchase receipt from your supplier so once again you have to click the resolve button no. so this will be the page right after you have to click the resolve button so in here you it mentioned here that you'll need to provide a receipt of your purchase or original receipts from your supplier for the items you sell to your buyers these receipts should mention your purchase or procurement of items your documents need to be valid and legible. The submitted information and the documents must correspond with the information in your PayPal. Your documents shouldn't be older than six months. We will handle your information in accordance with privacy policy. So anyway, mine, since I have mentioned that the, um, that the goods that I have provided to the client is digital services, so there was no physical product itself and it was not shipped so I just made a letter to PayPal so this is the letter that I have made so right after you finish with the letter then you just have to save it into PDF and drag and drop it in here so once you already attached or you already upload the file then you can see it in here and then you click submit submit then with all the files that you have submitted it will be like this there will be a notification that your information has been submitted then you just have to click the go to account limitations and you will be redirected into another page so you can see it in here that you have submitted all the documents so it will be like this so what happens next is that right after you submitted the documents then all the information will be reviewed by PayPal and they'll get back to us within five business days or five working days so you just have to be patient and uh, just have to wait because they will going to respond to you that your account has been already restored they will also going to confirm via email that um, they have they will review your information and they will um, get back regarding the status of your account within five business or working days so this email will be like this within five working days then they will um, send an email confirmation that your account has been restored you just have to be patient with your submission of your documents it will take time but definitely they will gonna restore your account as long as you will provide information that is legit and uh, that is correct so anyway this is that's all for now so I will also be having a another video which is the another account of limitation wherein they unhold the balance of your account in um, paypal so i will also going to discuss it in the next video thank you so much for watching and i hope you subscribe and i hope this helps you in your uh, issues in paypal thank you very much and have a nice day